man how you guys doing welcome to the show sad state of affairs man uh hell's angels clubhouse went up in flames it looks like one person was taken to the hospital we're going to be talking about that as well as a couple more stories related to the hell's angels but damn man this first one is pretty cool if you ask me and this one is out of the news journal online bike week fan denise beaver is going to be traveling from jacksonville to attend her 50th straight bike week 50-5-0 that is beautiful stuff right there that's hardcore actually she ain't that bad looking either for her age uh Bike uh, Week super fan Denise Beaver outside her Jackson, Florida home Tuesday, February 15th. That's that picture right there. Uh, she's 69 years old with her Thunderbird Blue 1998 Harley Davidson Heritage Softail. And she is preparing for her 50th consecutive Bike Week. Beautiful stuff. Awesome. And there's uh, pictures of her right there. Uh, some of the old stuff it looks like uh the, well, let's see what she says here denise beaver with photos of her mother and father both of their motorcycles tuesday february 15th uh then it uh, starts talking about it again uh then uh back of a license plate and it just talks about the pictures and stuff cool stuff man uh it has a picture of her dad world war ii Oh, yeah, man. A lot of pictures, a lot of history right there with a map, everything. But this is going to be your 50th straight bike week. Awesome stuff. Going out to Modesto. This out of Yahoo News. Former VP of Modesto Hells Angels was sentenced to five years in prison for conspiring to distribute marijuana and heroin. Why do they even charge marijuana anymore? It's legal there. Why? Because they ain't getting their cut. That's the only reason they're charging for that. Now, heroin, on the other hand, stupid move. Uh, U.S. Uh, Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of California announced... Uh, Schaefer was arrested, he's 34, as part of a years-long investigation into the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. He pleaded guilty in July to conspiracy to distribute in possession with the intent to distribute heroin and marijuana. Investigators obtained a court-authorized wiretap for his phone. Calls and messages revealed Schaefer conspired with an incarcerated former Hells Angel member to smuggle heroin into Pleasant Valley State Prison in Fresno. Big money in that game, anyway. Uh, several agencies worked on the investigation, including the FBI, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, uh, Internal Revenue, Criminal uh, Investigation, Modesta. Man, they had everybody involved in this one. One guy, all this. Sad state of affairs. Uh, multiple other uh, Hells Angel officers and members were arrested. Oh, okay, it's more than one. Have faced charges over the past two years in uh, relation to an, uh, the extensive investigation. Club member Ricky Blackwell was sentenced to six and a half years for possession with intent to distribute cocaine and possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking offense. That out of Modesto, former VP, he got five years. Now, there's a picture of the South Bend Clubhouse right there for the Hells Angels. I think the second floor is what uh, caught on fire. This out of 95.3 M or MNC. One person was hospitalized with smoke inhalation after a fire broke out at the Hells Angels Club on West Western Avenue in South Bend. 
South Bend fire crews were called to the area around 5.45 a.m. on Wednesday, February 16th, to find smoke and flames coming from the second floor of the building. Traffic was blocked at Western and Cayley for about two hours while crews doused the flames. The Red Cross was called to help two occupants of the building. There was no immediate word about the possible cause of the fire. Again, that was on the second floor in South Bend. We're hoping that everybody is all right in this fire. We got our firefighters out there helping people. Over to Crazy Ozzy's, man. Uh, let's see here. Red Bubble Hell. That's uh, Hell's Angels are launching legal actions against them and they are an online retailer after discovering their artwork for sale on the website uh, the online marketplace is being sued by the australian arm of the bikey gang why can't they just say a uh, hell's angels motorcycle club on this one over claims it infringed on the Hell's Angels trademark when novelty items bearing the gang's logo were displayed on their website. What's even worse is all the clubs have to deal with this when it comes to all these Chinese companies throwing these knockoff freaking packages. They really don't care about whose patches they're printing or any of that stuff. And it's sad. It really is. And what's even more sad is the people who go and buy the damn things. Uh, the gang last year took Red Bubble to court after finding there had been seven incidences where Hell's Angel artwork featured on the website in the 12 months to January 2021. One was removed after 12 days, but another remained available for purchase for almost a year. Trademark officers for the Outlaw Motorcycle Gang became aware of the first breach of the trademark in early 2020. Hell's Angels allege Redbubble, which launched in 2006 in Melbourne, allowed its namesake artwork and logo to be uploaded and made available for printing on items like t-shirts, face masks, and beer holders. So it's kind of a print-on-demand type of deal that they were doing. And I really don't know what kind of blockade, or if you will, or steps that a lot of these places can take. I don't know if they got algorithms or a way to find out trademark items that people are uploading the print shirts on. I can imagine it's hard, but it's not hard to put algorithms in place as well. It's funny, with our trademark stuff, we'll notice right away. Because there's some off things that we put in our logo that we'll recognize and a lot of people won't. But the Hell's Angels death head is the most recognizable within the club scene i do not know who's idiot who, they're idiots idiotic to want to print something like that but that's the kind of people that the internet has now spawned sad state of affairs it really is yesterday i did a short video a short on my thoughts about Shaggy's Corner being taken down, it was not by YouTube, as many are assuming. Black Dragon actually covered this subject on a video, and the short was my thoughts on it. I think it's a big loss to the motorcycle club community that he was asked to take it down. Because one percenters and a lot of other motorcycle clubs, they do not get a voice, which is very important when stuff in the news comes out. We cover it every day. And it was nice to get somebody's perspective on what's happening in that scene. 
I kind of have a, a chip on my shoulder on how it all went down. And I think it all dates back to the National Geographic response. You had uh, guys with uh, podcasts talking, and they really didn't know what the hell they were talking about, especially behind the scenes. And some didn't have any experience at all to call out Shaggy. And that was the sad part. And then one of the uh, motorcycle club uh, rights organizations pulled some shady stuff, man. Stuff that would have never been pulled a few years ago. But hey, that's their business. It is what it is. I'm just giving my opinion on the subject. And my opinion is it really does suck because he was seen as putting out the truth according to him. And now the channel had to be removed. That's what way it is with clubs. I've talked about this in another video, another segment. It's just you can't have a channel. You can't get into this type of stuff if you're an MC. And if you are an MC and you're being allowed to do this stuff, know that people think you talk for your club. I don't care how you try spinning it, but you are the face of your club. So just remember that. Be careful because that's the way everybody looks at it. It might not be that way, but that's just the way it is. That's the way this business runs. So, anyway, I'm going to go over to the second segment right now. You can hear the replays of the entire show over on Spotify and all that good stuff. You can also download the Insane Throttle radio app over on Google Play, InsaneThrottleTV.com. You can watch it or go to the Discord server. I'm out. Rock on. Rock on.